What the heck is up guys? Welcome back to the garage. We got the wood burner nice and toasty. We got some body shop action going on, a little touch up. Um, but really fast, while I have you here, today is the day that the Black Friday deals are going live on the website. So I'm doing a little bit of an early access for stage one and stage two kits. I'm doing the biggest amount off that I've ever done. So basically, um, I appreciate you guys so much and I appreciate all the business that I've gotten over the course of this past year. Um, it has been crazy. It has been good crazy and it has been bad crazy. 2020 has been one heck of a year, good and bad. So basically what I'm doing on the stage two kit is I'm doing 150 bucks off. Now guys, I don't have much margin on these kits. That's pretty serious. And then for the stage ones, I'm doing 100 off. So 150 off stage two, 100 off stage one, the most I've ever done starting today. So as soon as this video is live, if you guys are watching this, Shop Modern Diesel stage one and two kits, early Black Friday deal. The rest of the stuff on the website will start their Black Friday pricing on Friday and that will run until Monday. But stage one and two kits running right now until Monday, do it. All right, now back to the truck. Um, so if you guys watched my last video, you would have seen the dyno action. We finally went and we tuned the truck here pretty heavy. I told SPE Dan to give her the sauce. I was hoping for that 800 mark, which is still in sight. It's still a possibility. We still have a lot more room to go on the tune. This is a super safe, reliable tune, basically to just get out there, hammer it, do some driving, make sure it's properly drivable on the street. Um, and then we're gonna get back to it, give it some more juice, possibly put a nitrous kit on it, but that's talking a little crazy. So anyways, quick overview, uh, SPE Emperor Turbo Kit with a 370 ball bearing turbo. The thing spools like an absolute animal. Obviously you can see the whole SPE intercooler piping setup going on here, which is coming very soon. You guys have to be patient. There's a lot of stuff involved in this. And if it's going to market, they're gonna make sure it's right. Um, so on top of the, the air, um, the only fueling mod I have is the Warren 55 over CP4. Now they have two options for that kit. You can either get a new pump from them with their 55 over parts already assembled on it, or if you wanna build your currency before in your truck, you can get the DIY kit, which basically gives you new plunger heads and you do it to your own pump, which is a lot cheaper than going a complete pump option. So yeah, those are, the, those are the two main mods, the Emperor Turbo with the 370 and the Warren 55 over pump. I have some other stuff on there like uh, internal catch can, CCV reroute. Obviously this monstrosity of an S&B open style intake. Um, but intake wise, any, any aftermarket intake will be running fairly close to, to what this truck made on the dyno. I have the dyno print out here. Um, so you can see that we made peak power, which was 721.7 horsepower at 2950 RPMs, and our peak torque was 1378.8 at 2450 RPMs. So we made peak torque pretty early on, and we hit peak power just before 3000 RPMs. But it didn't drop much. When it cranked up to 3450, because I think Dan cut out at rated like 3,500 or whatever, it was still making 679 horsepower. Which is freaking awesome. Okay, so here's the dyno sheet from my when I was running our stage one kit. Um, we're just going to compare this super fast. Uh, so 614 was peak horsepower at 2850 at essentially the same RPM range as the non-VGT. So there is a monster difference there. Um, now don't get me wrong, the VGTs, they run super, super well. The drivability of the VGT, especially the modified VGT, is absolutely insane on the bottom. But they're only capable of so much and I was to the point where we wanted to go a lot further. Pretty good. 
And don't worry, all my lights are on because I have the fuse pulled because um, we just did that mega send burnout that you see somewhere in the video. I'm reworking a couple things on the full send switch with the wire that connects into that port to control the whole traction control system. Um, so, yeah. I haven't actually launched the truck yet, so let's see you know, what we can do here. deal with these transmissions is they have to realize what's going on and learn how to shift before you can go hammering them because that is exactly how you will destroy the transmission but I will say I don't think it likes fourth to fifth shift um, under under that power um, if any gears are gonna slip it's gonna be the fourth through six because they have less clutches than one through three um, so if there's any gears you kind of want to take it easy in on the hard shift, it is four through six on a stock transmission. So yeah, as I, from that little test there under like three quarters throttle, um, it does not like, it, it wasn't too happy going from fourth to fifth, put it that way. All right, we're gonna try to launch this thing. It's probably stupid to do it, honestly, with those, with those wheels, um, but let's see what we got. doing some funky shift in there honestly it was doing something weird um, I don't know I'm trying to drive and hold the camera and make sure we don't run anything over so I mean it felt fast was it fast all right so it's spun super bad off of the launch so maybe now I'll try to do a first gear or maybe a second gear first gear rolling like 15 rolling launch little break I think it was spinning the whole way. The shifting was a lot better that round. It was uh, it was holding. There wasn't any slippage going on. The shifts were firm. Um, it was going into gear properly. It wasn't like confused on what was going on. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, but there was someone walking back there. So we're going to bail out of here. So this thing might actually be worthy to take to the track. Though. I didn't want to take it before. Honestly, it run like a 14. That's not that fun. But right now, there's enough power for it to be fun. 720 horsepower, I think, I think that would be fun. You know, boosted launches, four-wheel drive. We're definitely gonna break something. Um, can't really get any traction on two-wheel drive on these wide mud tires. Um, so like fifth gear, roll into the gas, feels factory, feels factory. Turbo spools. And then it's just gone, gone. Absolutely love it. It's an absolute blast to drive this thing. The only bad part now is that you're just going to be rolling through the fuel because you roll into the gas, you hear that turbo whistle, you feel this power put you back into your seat, and you know, it's addicting to do, so there you go. And that's just, this is driving normal, this is, that, that ain't even quarter throttle. You can hear the turbo when it starts pulling, so it builds boost very, very quick. I mean, it lights super quick and you're you're going too fast already. So, I don't know, there you go. All right guys, so uh, today was like the first day that I really drove the truck any type of, any level of hard, okay? So, that first slight launch, didn't really like it too much. Second launch, very sturdy, very firm, awesome. So after that, there was zero shift flare. It was super smooth firm in position, hit the proper gear. So here's a here's a quick little thing for these trucks, a little tip. Whenever you guys have your shift on the fly knob to control your power levels, whenever you turn it down or up, that changes the power level of the truck. Now the transmission previously was used to whatever power level it was on before you turned the knob. So technically speaking, the transmission has to relearn at that power level. It's not so bad going from high to low, 
But when you're going from like power level three to power level five, you know, you're adding over a hundred horsepower ish and there's no reflash in between that knob turn you know it doesn't the the ecm the tcm isn't being reflashed so the transmission's still thinking it's under power level three but in in reality it's under power level five and it's still shifting for power level three so you want to give it some time to relearn that new power level before you go romping it just a little thing I, uh, me personally i never take the truck off of power level five i know that sounds crazy everyone's gonna be like dude you're gonna blow up your truck man i don't know i've hammered it on this channel there's 85,000 miles on the truck I've hammered it for all 85,000 and now we're even hammering it at 720 horsepower and almost 1400 pound-feet of torque these trucks are pretty tough I don't know there you go there's the first drive on the new tune a safe and reliable 720 horsepower which I am pumped now I'm like super addicted I want to go a little crazy with the truck but the next steps would be adding a, like a compound turbo or a bigger single or bigger injectors or nitrous. But when we're talking that kind of stuff, you know, then you're talking kind of, you know, you got to do built engine, built trans. I don't know if I want to do that to this truck. But all right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you made it this far, you are freaking awesome. Hit that subscribe button and keep an eye out for the Black Friday deals. It's going to be an epic. It's an epic time for 6-7 Power Strokes. It kind of sucks about the virus thing going on, which is kind of delaying certain things. If anyone out there is waiting on parts, I apologize, but you, just gotta, you guys got to bear with everything. So not just we're, we're not just delayed. Everything down the line is being delayed. Now, shipping carriers, they're delayed. Warehouse fulfillment, they're delayed manufacturers they're delayed so everyone across the entire board is delayed and that's not just us that is everyone out there so thank you guys so much for the support thank you guys for being patient and as always i will catch you on the next one peace yeah we took uh probably a couple thousand miles off the tires today but what are you gonna do